Hey guys, welcome to another Dishy Tech review video. Today for you, I have my favorite new power bank, specifically for the Starlink Mini. This is a mini power bank for a mini dish. And first of all, let's just admire how cute this thing is. Uh, this is a Jackery Explorer 100 Plus. This is their smallest power bank, and it doesn't look like your standard power bank. So I wouldn't consider this a power station. Uh, because it doesn't have an AC inverter or anything like that, like their full-size Jackery units. But instead, they, they made a power bank and they modeled it after their full-size one, which I love. That's why I bought this thing. Well, it's the I guess it's the second reason that I bought this thing. Main reason why I bought this thing is because of its true pass-through charging support, which I'll get into why I like using it with the Starlink Mini. Um, but first, let me compare this to a regular power bank. So this is the Anchor Prime uh, I believe it's the 27,000 milliamp hour version. Um, I've tested this on the channel before. You've seen me do a runtime test with it with the Starlink Mini. Both of these are similar capacity power banks. So the Jackery Explore 100 is around 99 watt hours. This one is around the same. Both of these are TSA carry-on compatible. So you're able to travel with these on an airplane. That's why they're sized like this. And that's why I bought these two. If you remember, I did that video with the Starlink emergency backup kit where I tried to create like a portable kind of like bug out internet kit or a, a natural disaster backup internet kit. This is the power bank that I chose. Um, this didn't end up working out quite as well as I wanted to. So in that video, a lot of you made the suggestion that I should get a solar panel. And I agree 100% with you, which is why I've kind of revised my Starlink emergency backup kit. And this Jackery Explore 100 is now kind of the core piece of that. Um, so a little bit more about the Jackery 100. So you have two USB-C ports and a USB-A. So these support 100 watts max. So this is enough power to power the Starlink Mini. It's got that correct USB-C PD profile that the Starlink Mini USB-C cable wants. The USB-C cable that Starlink sells requires a 20 volt 5 amp output from a USB-C port and that supports on, on both of these. So Really simple other than that, just those three ports. Um, you have display button, which turns on your little display. It has you know input, output power, as well as your battery percentage. That's really it. There's nothing more to it. This thing is tiny. Again, super cute design. That's one of the reasons why I bought it. It measures just about five inches wide by about three and a quarter tall and then about three and a half on the depth. So really tiny size, really tiny form factor. It's one of the main reasons why I wanted to buy it because it would fit in the Pelican case. I'll, I'll show you that here in a minute. The Jackery Explorer 100 comes in basically three varieties on Amazon. That's where I bought it. This video is not sponsored or anything, by the way, I bought this with my own money. Um, the base model here with just the power bank and it also includes a USB-C charging cable. This is like 130 bucks, I think at the time of this video. This is the uh, basic configuration, but you can also get it with a, a high-speed wall charger. It just comes with like a USB-C wall charger that you can plug this into, charge it up to its maximum 100 watts of charging. But what I recommend and what I did was I bought the bundle that includes not only this, but also a 40 watt solar panel. So if you buy it with the 40 watt portable solar panel, you get this nice little tiny, uh, portable 40 watt panel, obviously. It's about the size, interestingly, it's about the exact size as the Starlink Mini. This unfolds like that. Nice and portable design. It comes with this little carrying case, which has your cable and a manual and a couple of carabiners in it. But this allows you to plug the solar panel directly into the Jackery Explorer 100, giving you up to 40 watts of charging. And then obviously you can simultaneously run the Starlink Mini. That's really why I bought this, this combination right here. It's because I wanted to uh, upgrade my Starlink emergency backup kit with solar power so that I could charge this thing off grid if I needed to, if power was not available from a vehicle or something like that. But also I could simultaneously run the Starlink Mini. So let's jump right into that. Let me show you how this hooks up and what kind of power we can get from the solar panel. Okay, so here is my version two Starlink emergency backup kit. I've got my Pelican case here. I'll leave a link to all this, all these components in the description below. 
but you just open it up and you find inside everything in my upgraded kit version. So I have this portable solar panel. Let's just deploy that right now. This has a magnetic latch, which is really cool. And then you just unfold it like so. Uh, one of the downsides that I found with this panel already is that since it's folded up like accordion style, the folds here are really difficult to get, get it to go the other way. So it's like, you see how it doesn't want to lay flat? That's immediately one, immediately one of the downsides that I'm noticing. But let's just get that set up as best we can. That'll work right there. Uh, 40 watts maximum output. I believe it's like a 21 volt um, operating voltage on this thing, up to two amps on the charging. It's got their weird uh, proprietary solar panel connector. Looks like this. Just plugs in on this side. You do have a couple of ports, USB ports, in line with the charger, so you could charge up like a phone or some kind of small device at the same time that you're charging your power bank. It's still not wanting to lay flat. It is around one o'clock or so, so peak uh, solar charging time right now, if I can get this to lay flat. It doesn't have any kind of kickstand or anything, so I'm not able to angle it to the south, but we'll just have to work with that. Um, on the connector side, it comes with this barrel plug style, and then it's got an adapter that's kind of hooked on here for your USB-C port. So right away, what I want to do is test the charging voltage of this solar panel. And I know you probably can't see the screen. This is, does not get very bright. Another kind of downside that I'm noticing to this, you can't really see it in direct sunlight, at least on the camera. I can barely see it with my eyes here. I'm getting 24 watts right now out of this. Uh, this power bank's at a 54% state of charge. So just about half of the um, advertised wattage. Let's see if I can angle it to the south and see if I can get more. Yeah, so this is, it's jumped up to 30 watts now. But there's no kickstand. I can't, um, I can't get it to stay like that unless you prop it up against something. Not bad there. Solar panels never get their full advertised uh, wattage. The main reason though why I wanted this power bank versus the Anchor one that I already have is because this allows full pass-through charging. One of the big problems with the Anchor was that when I plugged in my Starlink USB-C cable and I had something else going on with it, maybe I was charging from the other port or uh, powering another device, what would happen with the Anchor was that the power would be reduced to the Mini's port. And with the Starlink Mini USB-C cable, it really requires you to have 20 volts uh, rating on the, on the port. And what would happen with the Anchor was that it would be reduced. You would still be able to get enough output, but since it dropped below that 20 volts, it would turn off the power and you get a red LED on this cable right here, which would turn the Mini off. That's not ideal because you wanna be charging at the same time you're using it. Um, that's why I went with this Jackery 100. This supports a true pass-through charging design. It handles the voltages a lot better. Although the, the maximum output for these two ports combined is still 100 watts, it doesn't actually reduce the voltage of this port right here. So even though, so I've got 25, around 30 watts inputting on this side. And then I've got the, uh, right now it's running around 20 watts or so output for the mini. It can jump up to about 50, 60 watts at times. But what happens was I can do now true dual pass-through charging without having to worry about the mini shutting off with this Jackery 100. Couldn't do that with the Anchor. And that allows you to do so many cool things. You've seen in my previous videos where I've used this same power bank in my vehicle for Starlink Mini in motion. And the, the reason that I do that is because I have it charging from the vehicle at the same time that it's outputting power to the Mini while I'm using it while I'm driving. And then when I stop, the power charging from the car turns off, but the Mini stays on because this Jackery has about three hours of runtime. So it doesn't turn off my Mini every time I stop to take like a restroom or a snack break or something on a road trip. So this is a pretty cool setup. Let's see what we got going on here as far as the performance goes. Um, we've got just around 17 watts output 
on the mini and we're charging at 26 watts. So we are actually net charging the power bank right now. During the daylight hours, you know, you have five or six hours of really good daylight in most areas of, of the country. So right now I can not use any power. This is powered from the sun right now, which is, which is fairly cool. That allows me to keep the power bank charged up to 100% during the day. And then if you need internet at night, maybe you're in one of those uh, you know, natural disaster kind of bug out scenarios where you have to use this emergency backup kit, you can now save your power, keep this thing charged while you're using it during the day. And then that way you have up to three hours of runtime when the sun is not out. Obviously this setup, this kind of bug out kit is not ideal for streaming Netflix, you know, all day long. That's not the point of this. The point of this is to have emergency communication abilities. You can get online, you can communicate with people, you can see what's going on in the world if a natural disaster hits or other scenarios where the electrical grid and other communication systems are knocked out. And it wouldn't be a Dishy Tech video if I didn't run a speed test while I'm here just to see the kind of performance that you can get out of the Starlink Mini running completely off grid, running on solar panel right now. What can a sun powered Starlink Mini deliver? And it looks like around 174 megabits per second down. We're at around 18 megabits per second upload. Drop down to 16 now, 15 and around 27 milliseconds of latency. So as far as runtime with this Jackery Explorer 100, it's very similar in size and capacity to the Anchor Prime that I've already tested. And I got over three hours of runtime with the Starlink Mini on the Anchor Prime. You can expect similar results with the Jackery 100 since it's around the same capacity. Between three and four hours of realistic runtime with just the Mini attached to it. If you hook up the solar panel here, and you're in daylight, this thing can run basically indefinitely because right now it's using around uh, 15 watts on the mini and then I'm charging at 25 watts. So this is actually charging the power bank right now. When the sun's out, I'm not draining this at all. When the sun goes down or when the, the output from the solar is lower than the uh, mini's power consumption, then you're gonna start using battery. So it's pretty impressive that something as small as this little portable foldable solar panel can increase the runtime of your power bank so much in the sunlight by just adding this little power, this little solar panel. Final thoughts about the Jackery Explorer 100. Uh, just, this is, this thing's just amazing. I've used it for so many different use cases, uh, road trips in the car, charging my phone, char powering the Starlink Mini, uh, camping, I take this along with me, keep it in my Starlink emergency backup kit, as you see right there and still charging the power bank while also powering the mini. Just amazing stuff. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about the Jackery Explorer 100 Plus. Uh, again, links to everything here are gonna be in the description below. Really appreciate you watching. I'll chat with y'all in the comments and see you in the next video.